Hey y'all, it's your girl Didi and you're watching the Didi Co Show. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Didi Co. If you didn't get that from the intro, and I'm always at a window if you ain't know. So today we're going to have my second attempt on this channel for me doing box braids. Now the first attempt was three years ago. It was the worst thing and one of the most viewed videos I have because of how bad it looked. And I think that was just a time when my generation was really just trying to learn how to do their own hair. And I was a video for laughs and failure. Hopefully this time it's not the same. Um, I wasn't going to do the rubber band method at first, but since I'm pre-washing my hair and pre-sectioning to just braid my hair tomorrow, I, I'm probably going to do that, but we're going to see how this turns out. I just really hope it's not a repeat of three years ago, seeing that I just did my own Miley twist, peep. I did that. I did that. So first, we're going to just start off with what I do prior. This is just two weeks of a mess here. I don't even know why there's bobby pins in my hair. It's not even holding down that thing. So we have this mess here. It's the first time my hair hasn't smelled good in a long time. And um, I got so tired of doing it and like trying to redefine my curls. My hair is looking how I did my freshman year of college. It is just gone actually at this point. So we're going to go in with um, detangling and how I do that is simple. So I do four sections because my hair can detangle easy now because I've chained my hair and I've weakened my hair and I've damaged my hair. So it ain't nothing but a few hair and there. So uh, you've probably seen so many different ways to detangle your hair when wet and all this other stuff or after you sh shampoo. Honey, I do it all before I get in the shower and wash my hair because it is nothing but wasting water once you're in the shower of hey, over here, da da da. No, you pre you pre detangle, pre poop. So I use Aussie co wash. And if they don't have that, I use the kids detangler. It works just as well and they are they both smell different but they both smell good. But um I saturate my hair in water. Get those dry brittle ends for me. And I have low porosity hair, so I really have to rub it in because the water literally just sits on top of my hair. Then I, you know, pump a good amount, like three pumps, and go to the ends first, and then get back there to the roots. Now I try to get like the actual like knots you can just straight up feel, but it's already easy to separate and we're here with it okay so it's just water and the co-wash of Aussie and then I have my tangle teaser $12 at Walgreens you start from the end so you know the basic old rules and you better make sure that that whole entire section is tangle free. And that is all detangled. And then I go ahead and twist that away. So you do that with each section of the hair. I do four sections because I know how to make how my hair is gonna take it. And instead of coming back when it's all done, I'll just come back once my hair is washed. So after you detangle it, get in the shower, do your just shampoo or do your conditioner, whatever day it is for you. It is officially shampoo and conditioner day, not just conditioner for me. And then when you come, when I come back, that's when we're gonna get it on and popping. Okay, we're back with it. So next up, do I even gotta say it? Come on, hair my knees. I said it. 
I'm not gonna put a lot because the next step is gonna involve heat. <laughs> Sorry, hair. I got about this much. I don't know if you can see that. Put it on my ends first and foremost. Then we're gonna try and get some more like there. Put it on my fingertips. Go in my roots with that. My hair look damaged y'all. Tell me in the comments below because I really don't know at this point. It be coming out looking like it's healthy, but it don't feel like it. So more than likely it's not, right? Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead. And hit them with that. <laughs> okay, let's go down the middle here. And that is it for the hair mayonnaise. I'm going to just add a little bit of the leave-in conditioner of African Pride. Just a little bit. I don't want my hair getting dirty too fast. We got that leave-in conditioner in there. Then we're going to go in with the conjunction of another African Pride product of the Growth Oil. I'm not going to put too much since we are we are putting heat in my hair today. Okay, and then last but not least, last but not least, the heat protectant. Now And we're gonna speed this up because your girl is hungry. I had a full day of work, my first day on the job. And it's laundry night, so I'm on my second load, about to be on my third, and I'm hungry. So, this next part is blow drying. I do my, you know, standard four sections. Now let me tell you now, my hair is so easy to detangle because of the detangling process in the beginning and how I wash my hair. I don't bunch up my hair. You let it and you let it run down your hair shafts. You do not get the chuck. No. Use bugging. That's all I gotta say. Use bugging. Alright. And we in there like swimwear. Then I have here my new Con Air Sorry, I, I use this only with clean hair, so that shouldn't be a problem. So that's about how rough I want to get it, you know, still so there can be some traction there. I'm bad at getting back here, but just so that it could be an easy parting process. Cause we're doing all the parting tonight and tomorrow I just get up and get to braiding so it should just run through like that and we in there okay so I'll be back once it's all blow dried okay we back at it so I had to eat first which I don't know now y'all know My hair is all blow dry and it smells bomb. How we about to section this, honey? I don't know. So this is my hair all blow dry and ready to go. First things first, I can't stand a middle part. But I always part the like the top of my head after the back. So I'm gonna try and turn around for you guys. Don't judge me on my parting. I can't see the back of my head. If you have eyes in the back of your head, let me know so I can block you. So I'm gonna talk like this. I am a big block. Hmm. I'm a big box braid type of person. Try saying that five times fast. So I usually like to gauge the rest of my braids by how many I put back here, and it's usually three. But to start off. So that's 
that's the best we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and part. We're gonna do four. Let's see how big four is. That's humongous, isn't it? We're gonna do five. And to put these bad boy in place, to put these bad boys in place, we're gonna go ahead and use this camera maze to just stick it together back here. help from a freshy fish. And that's one right there. So that's how we're gonna do it here. And I'll come back when my whole head is done because my camera's gonna die. So the first row is done. The first row is done. Um, people are always saying like the rubber band method is bad for your hair at all. If you don't know how to take out rubber bands from your hair after about a month or two, like I don't understand how hard it is to not rip out your hair. Like I guess I shouldn't judge, but I'm just saying like if you know what you're doing, it shouldn't even be that bad. And if you get some scissors, you just need to know like how to cut a rock band like I don't get it but this is how it's gonna look and then each section I'm gonna end up like twisting for each row I'm saying and that's all and that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of my head I cannot stand middle parts so I will not be doing one of those y'all see when I come back I know my parting is some shit, but it's the best I can do on me, okay? I'll see you in the Okay, so I got the first braid in. Um, I clearly, I don't know how to start off still, but it's a lot smaller than when I did it three years ago. Um, I don't know how to add the third loop the third strand in so because the third strand I just use as my regular hair and you can see like and I don't do underhand I'm overhanded so it's just like you see everything this is how long it is I think you know I'll get better by the time I get the bed fly but I really hope it don't all look like that so the second one was a lot better based off how it feels I just have to hold it really taut at the top and the blending is where I'm still having trouble but it's only that one mess up right there sorry my face is crusty and I didn't get to show you all my parts but let me just tell you now all these braids are about to be different sizes because of how I parted these hair like this hair like there were some sections like thick as heck and then you got my edges like this one it's so tiny and I don't know and I might run out of hair and you know it's still COVID and I don't live near a hair shop first off so, I know my hair's gonna be different colors too. So it's just like, I might as well be the same me from three years ago who tried this the first time.
I don't know why I don't know why it's taking me so long to come back to the camera it's literally like 12 hours later 10 hours later I finished I started at 8 10 and I was like I probably finished around 12 30 12 45 I finished on 12 45 on the dot with my hair and then the rest of the day I did nothing but go to the post office so I don't know why I didn't finish this but let me show you what it looks like I guess I should show you all the way. And, um, I put the video in the description, but if I also could find the clip, even though it's three years ago, or I might screen record it, I'm gonna put an insert right now of when I first did my hair. So look at me now. And look at me when I first did it. Okay. So now it's the end of the day, and now I'm showing you why I don't like it. So that wasn't the first and the last time I did it. I did it six months later, four months later, but what improvement is there between four months and you didn't practice it? None. I had done it for my Janet Jackson look for my Halloween thing. those were even worse but it had a fashion statement boom these I can actually say look normal I got the jewelry in it and whatever so let's have a sit down like let's talk about the process since I wasn't talking during it I was just so tired and out of it my motivation for making videos it, it dies like every t every month of creating that's why I kept falling off and on. But I'm not gonna do that this time. But um let's let's go in order. One, I'm so glad I sectioned the night before. I'm so glad I did that and decided to get up early to finish it off so I could be done by 12.45 p.m. and have the day to myself. I'm so glad I did that. The sectioning, I never too care too much about the back, but it is comb parted. I just don't know if it's straight so you guys can tell me but all that matters for me is like the up here and I'm actually really proud of this and all sorts of things so that's one that's common one two I don't know how to do the just the straight off the bat three strand braid like I don't know how to add in my real hair with something that's already three strands I use my real hair as the third strand and as you can see it, it in some of the cases it was a problem trying to um, seamlessly it's not a seam but seamlessly you have um, a nice smooth braid I can braid as in terms of like actually braiding but I don't know how to add feet in the hair or whatever so but it did work out for me in the end I mean they don't look that bad but not this was the first time I didn't have one braid go smoothly for me so that was like upsetting but like it will be the ones up here that were okay and look at the knots all in all how I initially did it in that that um, little clip I just showed you of when I first did it I don't even know how to explain it so let's pretend that this is the hair loop right this is the hair loop it goes down on the sides like that I went like this with the loop got the rest of the hair and pulled it like this so there could be a hole like that and I put my real hair through the hole like put my real hair through the hole and I tightened it and then I started braiding I don't know if that made sense to you, but that will be the hair and I'll start braiding. And the knots were so big, which made my hair, like I saw, stick up. So that's another improvement. And how I've gotten better, even though this is my first time doing it in three years again, is by doing my my friend's hair, like, and watching YouTube. Because y'all know I'm a YouTuber. 
so that was another thing I was proud of I still need to work on how to add the hair on a three strand braid um up the front ones here the ones right here or in the second row I couldn't start it back like this so I had to like the first one was really difficult but it came out okay like the knot was not big I would have it was easier eventually so that was that of course once it, it can come out looking like a mess it really can and then you can add jewelry and all this other stuff and if your parts look good and if your like scalp looks good like your hair can look okay and I had to um, soak it twice because it just wasn't it was stiff and it's I mean it kind of still is but it's okay also this is my first time doing braids this small which is probably another reason why they didn't come out looking like spiders like I could probably do a jumbo braid but I had to defy some of the laws I said not to do like I don't know if that makes sense like last time I fed too little into the braid so I was like you have to feed in more hair than what you're actually putting in if that makes sense but this time I made the braiding hair equal to the hair that was in here and it still worked out for me I know my voice is annoying but just come on stick with me if you're trying to learn come on come on hey babe. so another thing that happened was he's on the phone now so one thing I don't know is that there are four different types of hair in my head right now I only bought three jumbo packs of the ombre hair because it was like $30 for just three jumbo packs and like 55 for five I'm like god darn that's why I wish beauty stores were open because I would be getting this shit for like five dollars a pack uh, anyway not even that it'll be like three to four so I use kanky long in the back straight up black then I use Marley hair right here and then I use a hair color that is my hair color like it's brown type of thing yeah it's my hair color is brown so it's black brown um, Marley twist and then the ombre hair I am so glad I found the Marley twist because I, I had ran out and it worked out in the end. Um, I like it a lot. I feel like a baddie. A bitty. So, any questions you guys have, comments you guys have, let me know in the comment section down below. But anyway, here's the hair. One more, one more time, one more time. Thanks for coming to the channel. Remember, my social media will be at the end of this video. Remember to subscribe and always comment what I should improve. I know this video could have been better, but I was just all over the place. Also, remember to put that bell notification on so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday for when your girl posts. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.